All lectures tomorrow at the Forte University have been suspended as the institution prepares to hold a day of mourning for murdered student Nostrelum Tebeni. The 23-year-old student was murdered last week. Her body was dismembered, stuffed in a suitcase and thrown onto a street in East London. The accused, Aluta Pasile, allegedly killed her. I'm joined now by Professor Sakele Bushungu, the Forte University Vice Chancellor. Professor, thank you for joining us. What is uh, the mood in, uh, at the university at the moment, days after this discovery? Good, good afternoon, uh, Natemba. Yes, the mood is uh, very somber, very, uh, um, very sad. There's kind of an, an overwhelming kind of sense of sadness, of shock, of disbelief, and of course, a deep, deep, deep sense of loss uh, that is shared amongst all our students, all our staff, and members of our communities, uh, communities especially in East London, Buffalo City metropolitan area, as well as Alice, where the main campus is. So that's, what, that's where we are now. We still can't believe this. But then again, it has happened. We, we, we're coming to terms with that. Tell us about the plans and the activities of uh, the day of mourning that uh, the university uh, is planning for uh, tomorrow to commemorate uh, Nostrelum Tebeni. The, the plan, it's, it's a very simple one, but what we thought for, start, for a start is that we should suspend all normal uh, lectures and activities and tests and other assessments uh, in the university for the whole of tomorrow so that people can come together and have that moment of grief and, and grieving and grieve individually but also collectively. So the memorial service, therefore, becomes a focal point for us a focal point uh, where we can then uh, bring people together and uh, and share in that in that, in that grief. Now, the way we're going to do it, we're going to run it from East London, from our East London campus at the Miriam Makeba building, where inside, uh, in 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 compliance with COVID nineteen regulations, we'll have fifty people, uh, and then we're going to be live streaming. We're going to be live streaming broadly, very very broadly. Uh, so people sitting at home, people in their workplaces, it doesn't matter where they are in the country, they will have access to uh, the proceedings of the, of, the, of the memorial service. Now, the memorial service is it's, it's kind of it's a university uh, event in the first place. So we, we, not, we didn't go big, but we thought we'd bring together the core stakeholders. And by core stakeholders here, in, in no particular sequence, I'm talking about the, 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 the family. Of Nostel. Um, and relatives have come through from Matatiel and they were accompanied very significantly by the mayor from the, from, from the town as well as one, the, the kind of the local councillor, uh, municipal councillor there. So that's the one thing. They're going to be in, 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 the, in the hall. And then we're going to have some members of management. Uh, in particular, uh, the dean of the faculty of law where she was registered and a couple of staff members from there. We're going to have the Student Representative Council. We're going to have representatives of other support services staff and professional services staff in the room. And then we're going to have, and, and again, in no particular sequence, we're going to have the members of the clergy there uh, who are going to participate, but also are on the program. We're also going to have uh, representatives from the Buffalo City Metropolitan uh, um, Municipality, which is where our East London campus is based. So at the moment, the name that I have is, 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 is Councillor May, who's a deputy mayor. Deputy mayor of Buffalo City is going to be there. And then we're going to have the, the members of the Provincial Executive Council, uh, uh, um, MEC, uh, Fezek Ankomonye. She's going to be representing the provincial government and the premier. She's going to be there. And then we're going to have the deputy minister, the national deputy minister of the Department of Higher Education and Training, uh, Minister, Deputy Minister Butiman Namela. So those are the people. But because of COVID, uh, we could we could, we couldn't co accommodate other people. So we're going to be receive. We've been receiving scores of messages of support. So all of that is going to be part of this mix where we share the grief nationally and hopefully where we we'll, we will also come out with some measure of healing. 
Well, we'll leave it there for now, but thank you. And, uh, of course, all academic activities uh, will be closed just only for tomorrow uh, to accommodate uh, the memorial uh, uh, you know, events and activities. Thank you very much. That's the Vice Chancellor, uh, Professor Sakele Bushungu of uh, the University of Fort Hare, sharing with us plans of uh, the memorial activities that are taking place tomorrow at uh, Fort Hare University.